Hi guys, hope everyone is doing well. Today's video is another unboxing. I have quite a lot of anime merch to show you as well as some manga. Um, I also have a very long overdue anime expo haul from a few weeks ago that I haven't shown yet. So hopefully I'll be able to show you guys everything. Also, if you haven't already noticed, I do have a little bit of a new setup. Um, I want to do something new. Anyways, our first box that we'll be unboxing is the Right Stuff packages. So this particular package is a pre-order that I recently got. So let me just open it up. I'm super excited because this package has been on like a really big delay for a while. So finally, we're going to get it. Okay, so here it is. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This cover looks beautiful. Um, we have Saber in her most amazing form yet. Um, she looks incredible. This cover looks amazing. So we have the Fate Return to Avalon art book of Takahashi's Takuchi's arts. Um, everything that um, they have created so far. This is the back and as you can see here's a little bit of a description as well celebrating the 15 year anniversary of the fate return to avalon it collects illustrations from all of the fate franchise so the original um game artwork as well as like fate grand order as well so that is amazing this is definitely a great collector's item if you are a fan of fate and i'm so glad i pre-ordered on right stuff i think there was like a udon sale or some sort and that's where i picked this up for a very great price and wow this this might be my favorite art book of all time i'm not going to go through all of this um in too much detail because this is not like an unboxing of this particular art book but i will show you um so yeah this has the content uh looks like it's in seasons so that's really cool, but I'm going to put through. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, she looks amazing. And then here we have like some of the original um, visual novel art as well. I love. Um, yeah, this is just so beautiful. If you're wondering who my favorite character is from Fate, I do like Rin Tosaka. A lot so yes she is my favorite heroine from the franchise but all the girls are just so beautiful and I love every route of fate as well I've watched all the movies um, I don't really play the game but I have read like the notes of the game so if you go on reddit there was like someone from reddit actually made like a tutorial version of the game itself that's translated, so yes, um, you can go check out the visual novel game on Reddit. But I think this is so nice. This is, it has everything, all of the characters that we love in the Fate franchise. This art book is just A+. Plus, plus this book is just huge. Oh my god, that's so adorable. Oh my god, I just love it. The mix of like modern like fate art with its like original art as well is just everything. She looks so cute and this is so adorable. Oh my god, yes. Highly recommend if you're a fate fan to pick up this, this book because honestly, tied for top number one. It's tied because I do like the Haikyuu illustrations as well, but this one, hits hits the spot I'm still looking for a Rin spread so I can see it but yes I think this is so beautiful I hope that like Eiffel Table will make a remake of a fate route as well because Saber deserves a high quality anime adaption Wow, that's amazing. Okay, actually, let me just flip, find a page of, like, Rin. I didn't see a spread of just only Rin. I see a lot of Sakura <laughs> and Saber, so I just want to find my best girl, a spread of my best girl. Oh, I do love this a lot. There's a figure for this particular um, set, 
but I can, I think it's too expensive. I want that Rin figure, racing Rin, that's what it was. So yeah, I'm trying to look for a Rin spread, but I guess there isn't, I'm hurt. There's no like double page of a Rin spread. I'm sad. Oh well. Uh, regardless, this is a wonderful art book. And yeah, I'm very glad to, oh, and it has like basically like where each art is pulled from, like the year and everything. So that is awesome as well. That is incredible. So if you're like interested in any particular art, it has the source of where it's pulled from. Wow, that is great. Anyways, I am done going through this art book. Sorry, it's not full flip through, but um, I think it's just something you definitely have to pick up if you're a fake fan, and I'm so happy to have this. So yeah, that is everything for this art book, and let's hop into the next box. So here's another box from Write Stuff. I believe all of these books are from the birthday sale. Um, which is very exciting. I, for once, only ordered in-stock books this time around, so this package got to me very fast. Okay, so I just opened the box, and first we have is this adorable bookmark. This is so cute. It's uh, a Tokyo Pop bookmark. And these are some of the series that they're highlighting. That's adorable. So in this box itself, I have two series. One is called Sweat and Soap, and the other is Ayumu. Um, so I don't know if the books are all in order or not, but let me show you guys this. So first we have is Sweat and Soap, volume three. So I did manage to get almost all of the volume for Sweat and Soap besides volume one and 10. And that's mainly because it was not on sale on the birthday sale. Um, listing so I'm going to buy the last two volumes I'm missing on the publisher sale because I didn't have a 10% coupon and I'm not gonna play non-sale price on right stuff either so <laughs> as a person who collects quite a lot of manga I tend to just like to save as much as I can but I've been meaning to collect sweat and soap for quite a long time because it is one of my favorite like adult series it has like a great well balance of like romance and smut here and there so yeah i'm just a sucker for these type of stories if you don't know about the story it's about this office uh they're both like people working in an office she i believe is an accountant and one of her main insecurity in the story is that she sweats a lot and she's insecure about her smell and this guy right here, he works in like a perfume company and so he's very attracted to her smell essentially and um, yeah, I just really love their story, their communication in this series is just A+. Plus. And yeah, I'm like a sucker for the story. So yeah, been meaning to see if I wanted to buy the box set or not because usually box sets come with like interesting freebies but um, I saw this on sale for the birthday sale so I was like you know what I'll just buy the single edition and just skip out the box set instead so yes it just has the story just has like a well balance of everything and I love all the characters in the story especially the main leads they are so cute um, trying to grab all of the sweat and soap books for you guys so this is like the final volume cover so pretty yeah so i just need two more volumes for the series before i am done go oh, and i love the covers for the story so yeah if you're looking for a um, more mature adult romance series this is a highly recommended series there's nothing in any there's no part in the story where I felt like very frustrated though I would say like the first maybe one or two chapters does feel kind of uncomfortable for some people just because we're setting the story but overall I think once you get past the first few chapters you'll really enjoy it a lot even I was a little bit put off the first few chapters and I won't go into much details but um yeah that is how it is. So yeah, those are all of the volumes I got for Sweat and Soap. And then the last series I mentioned is that I did pick up 
Ayumu. So when Ayumu makes his move, this one is written by the same mangaka as Takaki-san. And currently there's an anime adaption that's airing for this summer season and I am been a big fan of it. I've watched the first two episodes so far, but it's super cute. It's another like conf high school confession series, I guess, romance series. So kind of hard to explain, but basically they're both in this club, like a shogi club, which is like a chess-based game. And yeah, he, they both have hints of feelings for each other, but have not really confessed yet. But um, it's really adorable. I like it a lot. I am a big fan of the art style. It just gives me a lot of like reminiscence to Takaki-san, which is another series I really enjoy. They're apparently in some sort of similar universe. Or, I mean, they do say, like, his characters, especially, like, the mangaka's female characters have, like, their forehead showing or something like that. But, yeah, I'm excited to read the story. And I picked it up on kind of a whim because I haven't watched the first two episodes so far for the series. But it's been cute and I feel like I'll enjoy it. Plus, this was in a Right Stuff bundle for, like, five volumes for a really good deal. So, yeah, I just couldn't say no to it. And this is the very fast volume, volume one. So adorable. And I cannot wait to continue watching the anime. It's been very good. So yeah, that is uh, when Ayumi makes a move. And that is what I got for the Right Stuff birthday sale. So next item I have is actually from Good Smile. This is, I think, my first unboxing that I'll show you of a figure that I got. I do have a few anime figures in my collection but I don't really unbox those or I haven't really bought anything as of recent to like show an unboxing of so yes. So here we have this is a pop-up parade of one of my favorite characters in an ultimate game I play called Mr. Love's Queen's Choice. This is a pop-up parade of Baichi and he looks so amazing. Um, Quality wise for this pop up parade from like reviews I've seen before are pretty good. And so, yeah, I don't really buy too many pop up parades, but for this particular series, um, I did buy pop up parades for all of the main love interests. So, yeah, super stoked to have them. Okay, so this is Gavin or Baichi fully assembled. I think he looked really good for a pop up parade. Um, I don't have like a little turntable, but I love his pose with him holding his gun like that. Um, honestly, the quality of this pop parade is very great. I mean, for the price that I paid for this pop up parade, I mean, um, it is good. I like the value, and yeah, his facial expression is just on point and yeah i love it so much and i can't wait to display him on my detox but yeah he looks so cool okay on to the next box okay so the next few packages i'm going to show you are all from c japan i usually buy a lot of my merch from c japan mainly because i rack a lot of points and the merch are just so much cheaper they come out so much faster and i love you know, the customer service for CD Japan. So if you're looking for anime merch from your favorite series, I highly recommend this place, as well as Amazon Japan is another place I usually look at as well. So here we have another box and all the contents inside. I just bought a few random merch here and there, so very exciting. So I'll just show you guys one by one what I got. So first I have is another um, volume, volume, 13 of one of my favorite um, shoujo series currently, which is like, don't remember the name, the title. I'll put like a little note on the corner of the screen of the title just because I can't pronounce the Japanese title as well as I don't remember the English title too well. It's like, love me if you die. But essentially it's about a girl who in the beginning of the series uh, attempts to commit suicide after being rejected from a guy and her teacher comes in to the rescue and somehow convinces her but she ends up being in these situations where it looks like she's going to like commit suicide but she actually really isn't um, after that first um, initial encounter and i just love their dynamic a lot though i would say there's a few interesting warnings as 
um, you know, one, it's an age gap romance story, as well as there are mentions of suicide, mental illness, and all that other um, items that do occur in the story. So it's not for everyone, but it's one of the fa my favorite stories ongoing, but there is no official translation of the series. So I am collecting this uh, in the Japanese language, and so far I've been enjoying it, even though I can't really read Japanese too well. So I'm very happy to have this in my collection still. So the next item I have are some uh, acrylic stands. Um, I picked up a few for an anime series that just recently ended, which is Shikimori. So they released quite a lot of merch um, for the show, and so I knew I had to pick up some before it was too late. So I got a whole bunch of mini acrylic stands of Shikimori with different outfits. She's so adorable. I love them so much. They're adorable, again. And yeah, and then I got one of Izumi as well. And he's there. He's holding a little um, Shiki Mori plush. So cute. And she's also holding like an Izumi plush as well. And he's like making all these different expressions. So yeah, I just think they're so cute. And I had to pick them up. And then the other Shiki Mori merch I also got are these these are just like really cute like acrylic stands of like their dates of different seasons so yeah there's like i don't know what season this is but we have one for autumn maybe springish and like new year's okay i guess it's not different seasons but they're like different settings of dates so it's very adorable. I am a big sucker for acrylic stands, especially cute ones like these. So I knew I had to pick it up. And um, yeah, I just, that's why I love animes or like series getting mon like anime adaptions because you get like way more merch for them as they are trying to promote the manga series. They want to capitalize on all of that. So that's why I love anime announcement, even if it's like a bad adaption at least you get so much more merch from the series that you usually don't get so here i have an illustration book of requiem of the rose king so i love the art of requiem of the rose king it is definitely one of my favorite like shoujo dark kind of like illustrations and the mangaka just goes so hard with her art style which is one of the reasons why a lot of people were not satisfied with the anime adaption because they literally just did the bare minimum of this anime adaption. They did not capture the art and whatsoever. And so, you know what? It's okay because at least you have the manga still and this amazing illustration book to kind of, you know, feel good about the animation or like the art quality of the series. So. Yeah, I really am so excited to have that as well. And the last few items I have are just some clear files. I saw these Spy Family clear files and I knew I just had to pick them up. So here we have a clear file of Lloyd and Anya. They're so adorable. And then of course we have this fighting stance of Yor and Anya. So that is so adorable. And then we have one of Damien and Anya as well. And then this one is, of course, Anya studying super hard on her school stuff. And then we have, of course, a Your Forger clear file. And then her assassin job. And then we also have Lloyd and then his of course secret job as well there was a clear file for anya and i somehow just totally missed adding it to my cart so i don't think it's even available anymore but i'm really sad i didn't get like her actual clear file her individual clear file so it's a big miss for me but yeah that is everything for this first box of my cd japan haul i have a few more to show you guys so let's get to those so here is the second box that I have from CD Japan, and I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. Um, this is actually my first time buying a Nindoroid uh, from a Japanese website. I usually buy all of my Nindoroids exclusively from a Good Smile Company US store, but honestly, I just cannot wait for the US store. They take forever, and so my friend was like, why don't you just buy it from a Japanese store? And I was like, you know what, I'll do that instead. 
So here we have our, of course, long awaited. Oh my god, it is Senji Muramasa from Fate Grand Order. When I heard that his pre order was finally available for a Nindoroid form, I knew I had to pick him up. I was totally obsessed. Even though the US server has not reached his release yet, we're gonna get him at the end of the year. So, yes, I'm just very excited just because who, of course, doesn't like Senji Muramasa. So I had read a, a little bit of his story lore before, but I'm just really excited to collect his Nindoroid as well. So yeah, had to get him in my collection. Cannot wait to assemble him and display him. But yeah, um, definitely will be saving all of my quartz now for the New Year campaign. But yeah, I'm so happy to have him. And yeah, so on to the next box now. Here is the final box that I got from CD Japan. Some very interesting plushies. So here we have, oh my god, he is so huge. I guess I have to move my box away. But first we have is this adorable round plushie. I don't know what they're actually called, but it is this one. They're like these little pillow cushion plushies. So I have one of Kageyama and his like school uniform version. Um, he looks so adorable. Yes, Kageyama in chair approves. But yes, we did have this one. This is like the largest um, plush size. So they come with in different sizes, but I knew I had to get a big size of this of Kageyama. So here we have him. He's so cute. And as I mentioned, it comes with different sizes, so I did have to pick up a smaller size of Oikawa, and this is his volleyball uniform version, so if I can open him. <gasps> yes, yeah, so cute! So yeah, I did get this adorable Oikawa as well. This is, I think, the medium size one, and there's like one that's like really small like that one. So the largest size, and then the second largest size. So yeah, he's so cute. I did order the Kageyama uniform one as well, but it's in a separate order, so hopefully I'll get him soon. But if you guys want to see the collection I do have, I'll show you guys something like a bonus one. So I got this a while back, but this is the uniform version of Oikawa. So this is the same size as the Kageyama uniform one as well. So um, because I got this one, I was like, I'm going to collect all of my favorite guys. So here we are. I collected... Oikawa and Kageyama, who are my top two favorite Haikyuu characters. I do like Akashi as well, but since they're so big and they're quite expensive to ship out, I was a little bit more hesitant to collect all my top three, but we'll see. I don't know. They'll, they release so many versions of these little, like, Fuwa Korin. I think that's the name of it. Fuwa Korin dolls i think that's what they're called so um i'm pretty sure there's plenty of other chances for me to collect um the other characters as well so yeah and i do have a few more items as well so first we have is this little um acrylic art canvas board so i bought this from the via proxy the jump store doesn't ship to the u.s so i had to use the CE japan proxy service which is a very amazing service so here it is so if, if you guys don't know what the show is this is taisho otome i don't remember the in full entire name so yeah i think their romance is just so adorable i love you know their relationship it's like just a really adorable series i've read the manga and the manga is really good and there was an anime adaption which is why there was some merch for the series so i did pick up this canvas artboard and i also picked up this really cute um acrylic stand as well so there's a few other characters in the show so i just went ahead and bought the entire set of acrylic stands for all the characters so here it is this is just some other characters in the show i love it so much look at yuzu she's just so small so yeah i'm very excited to display this on my shelf somewhere. I don't really know where yet, but yeah, I couldn't pass up and say no to getting uh, the merch for this series. So yeah, that is everything for this last box for Zee Japan and on to my anime expo haul.
So before I get started in the Anime Expo haul, I just wanted to give like my overall experience attending AX for the very first time. So I've been to um, my local anime convention for the last five or six years, which is SoccerCon located in Seattle, but I've never been to like a big, large scale anime convention like Anime Expo before. So for my like PTO this year, I decided that I wanted to go and take some days off to attend ex Anime Expo for the first time and as well as explore LA. So I was in LA for about like over a week, which is really nice. And I had a great time attending all four days of Anime Expo. There was just so much activities. It is, there's just so many other people and like so many more things to do, but the lines are just super crazy. And of course, I don't really do well with hot weather, so AX was a very warm experience compared to like going to soccer con where it's a little bit colder and it's like in spring, so it's like, a little smaller as well up in Seattle. But yes, so the first item I got was actually an Anime Expo exclusive merch. And this is, uh, I bought this from Kinakunia USA and they had an exclusive acrylic stand for Watukoi. So I love Watukoi a lot. As I mentioned, at, like for my sweat and soap, I do love mature adult romances, especially in the workplace office setting. Kinakunia announced a few days before Anime Expo that they were going to have shirts as well as acrylic stands available for their Anime Expo, you know, celebration. So here we have a very beautiful acrylic stand. It is huge, but I mean, it was quite expensive as well. But we do have um, Narumi as well as Hirotaka. And look, it's Anime Expo theme. Like they're like in Los Angeles. It's so pretty. I just love convention exclusive merch. So here is the Watukoi Curl Stand fully assembled. I think it looks so nice. Um, I can't wait to display this on my shelf. Oh my god, the quality of the acrylic stand is definitely by far amazing and yeah i'm so happy to have this one of my favorite purchases of the con itself and i did wait in line to get some autograph tickets so i can get autographs from the guests during anime expo so i did get two autograph tickets and so i went ahead and here i'll show you guys what autographs i did get so there's a few guests and usually guests at anime expo does autograph sessions and it depends on how they're feeling but they'll either like sign and then draw a sketch or sign only so unfortunately this year they're only doing sign only so um yes i wasn't very lucky to get any sketches for anything but i did get an autograph of shindo l um this is his signature right here which is super cool um he's known for more age-related manga so like metamorphosis as well as i think there's another series called monotagari but yeah i'm very stoked to at least have his autograph which is super cool and then um i did get a poster autograph as well from uh the producers and animator of ranking of the kings so i did get their autographs as well. You probably can see their name, um, Hata Yosuke, and then also, um, I think this is Okada Maiko. Okada Mai Maiko. So yeah, and they signed it to my name as well. This is my name in Japanese. So yeah, I think this is super cool, and I'm very happy to have met them. I also just picked up a blank poster as well for fun. And then also for autographs, this was not an autograph related session, but this was just stumbling upon uh, a guest. Um, so uh, one of the big events at AMA Expo was the Demon Slayer third year anniversary panel. And they brought in the VA for Tanjiro as well as the producer, Yuma Takahashi. Takahashi? Yeah. So. Obviously, there was no autograph sessions for those guests because it's um, they were guests of honors for anime or Aniplex. So during my like walking around with my friend, we actually went to the I forgot what was it called the entertainment hall, and Yuma Takahashi was there doing a very 
out of nowhere impromptu autograph sessions. So we were just super excited. And I have I always carry my shikishi board whenever I go to these conventions just in case. So yeah, this was the occasion I got his autograph, which was super exciting. He was so nice. And yeah, I got a picture with him as well, but I won't post that anywhere. But yeah, his autograph is super cool. This is so cool. And yeah, very happy to have his autograph as well. And overall a very good autograph session this year i tend to like to get commissions at conventions as well to support like my favorite artist alley artists of some sort so i did go and get some commission both commissions are from the same artist we have she did a sketch of one of my favorite series called hyoka so we have chitanda and oriki and they're just so adorable um yeah I'm so grateful. She's done many sketches for me before, so I just really love her art style. And then I also got this commission of Sakura Chio from Nozaki-kun, and look, this is so adorable! Oh my god, so yeah, I just really love her art style. She does amazing in her commission, and I'm always looking forward to see her both at SoccerCon and maybe Anime Expo next year. So yeah, so that is all of the autograph and commissions I got, and let's go into the actual merch that I bought at the convention. So here is all of the merch I bought as well as freebies. So I thought it would be nice to kind of combine both of them at once. So I'll just kind of show you guys everything that I got one by one. So the first shop that I went to was actually I placed an order before Anime Expo so I can do like a pickup instead. But I bought um, some plushies from Studio Pagey. The plushies are from a series called Painter of the Night. And here it is, Namkyum, Sungho, all dressed up in their outfits. Oh my god, thank you Studio Pagey for creating these wonderful dolls for me to have in my home. Oh my god, they're so adorable. The outfits are such amazing quality. Honestly, putting the outfits on is usually the hardest part for a doll, but... Um, this one was very simple. I didn't have any struggle putting on the shirts or the pants and everything. And they looked like actual replicas of the little of the characters in the manhwa. So yeah, I am just so stoked to have this. They look I love his hat detail. It's just everything. So if you guys are actually interested in these dolls, she is hosting um another order for them. If you're interested in these painter of the night plushies go ahead and get it now because i think this is the last time she'll ever restock them so yeah i think they look amazing and they're so adorable oh my god so cute anyways yeah i will stop gushing over these dolls now so next i have are some art prints the first art print in here is this adorable fruits basket print oh my god of toru and all of the um soma zodiac characters as well as her friends as well this is so cute so i don't have the business card for this particular artist because i got my friend got this for me while we were shopping but i believe her name is like bat soup so as i mentioned name in the corner and also shop link in the description but this is so cute oh my god i saw this when on the first day that we were walking at Aunt artist alley and i was like i really want to get this but i was like maybe later or some other time but yeah my friend ended up picking this up for me so i'm extremely grateful so thank you for her for getting me this print because it's so adorable yeah highly recommend if you guys are really interested in fruit basket because this print is so adorable and then some other prints that I got. Uh, let me see if I can take it out. So I got three prints from this other shop. So here it is. This really pretty um, Tomoe and Nanami print. So cute. I think this was like a print that she just designed before Anime Expo. So. It just came right on time and so i'm really happy to have this the quality of these prints are just so nice and of course we have another couple print of yor and lloyd 
also super adorable. I just love how different all these prints are. And the main reason why I bought from her shop or I found her shop was this print in particular. So this is a shoujo series that's like near and dear to my heart called Last Game. Um, it is like a childhood friends slash enemies to lovers series and I don't ever see like shoujo series without anime adaptions get merch of any sort so I was just super stoked that she actually had a print for the series because oh my god last but not least the rest are here are freebies from a food truck that I uh, bought food from so if I probably mentioned this in my haul once but I played this ultimate game called Tears of Themis which is uh, made by a company called Mihoyo and Tears of Themis is an ultimate game it's like a lore detective mystery series with four different love interests um, and you yourself, yourself is the main character Rosas who is a lawyer at a law firm who solves you know different cases and such Tears of Themis had a food truck that gave out freebies if you made any purchase um, for any food, snack, whatsoever. I wanted to collect all the freebies that they had because of course I have like my favorite guy in the game, um, but I do love to collect free merch. So it was really hot and they were serving like milk tea floats and different type of floats and as well as ice cream. So I knew I had to collect them all. So here we have the freebie postcards of the four love interests. So this is Rosa and Artem, as well as Rosa and Vin. And my favorite guy, of course, Rosa and Luke. And Rosa and Marius. So super high quality postcards. Here's a group card as well. So pretty. I love them so much. But yeah, but that's not it. There are other freebies as well. So we actually got freebie stickers. So each purchase comes with a free postcard, sticker, and also magnets. So this is the stickers that came with the purchase as well. So Artem, then Luke, and also uh, Marius, group sticker. You bought the member floats. You get the member specific um, merch or like freebies so that was really nice because then of course they'll give you like the guy you want and if you bought like the ice cream which is not designated to a guy you get the group merch which is super cool so very easy to collect them all to be honest so yeah and then here are the magnets so we have of course Artem, Finn, Luke, and Marius and the group magnets. My friend and I because it's always nice to go with a buddy uh we collected all the freebies and she gave them all to me which is so nice of her because she doesn't play the game so I was just super happy and yeah we were able to collect all the freebies of all the four days that I went there. Next we have are some prints that I got from uh, different stuff, uh, some free prints as well as some uh, prints that I bought. So let me see if there's like a easier way for me to show you guys. So the first print that I purchased from is from this particular shop called Shop No No Mo and this is like her business information very cute card and she sold um prints for like three four forty dollars or something like that so I did pick up um a print from a series called 86 86 has an anime adaption that's based on a light novel. I don't think I've ever mentioned 86 on my channel, and I guess this is now the time, but I love 86 a lot. It is one of my favorite animes that aired 2021. If you're interested in the series, go check out my anime list. They'll have like a little bio for you to read, as well as just, I think it's so much more fun to go into the series without any like context behind it because I went into the series not really knowing anything besides knowing the song Avid and literally it's like the best thing I ever picked up ever. It is a wonderful series. I was so sucked into the anime. I bought the entire light novel that's like currently out in English digitally because I could not wait for the physical. So I read to, after finishing the anime, I read volumes four to 10 on a weekend. This is Shin and Lena, the protagonist of 86. 
love this show so much. I was so happy to see an art print from the series because I didn't really see any merch from 86, which is really surprising, but maybe that's just how it is. OST in this series, A+, plus animation, A+, plus storyline is amazing. This adaption was honestly really good. Fingers crossed for season two someday. Next we have is a print, of course, our favorite girl, Makima from Chainsaw Man. Um, I've been reading Chainsaw Man for a while now, mainly because my cousins actually read Chainsaw Man, so we read, you know, each chapter whenever it was released during part one and then discussed about them like whenever we met up. So uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of Makima. I think she's very interesting. She's a very complex character and this anime adaption that's coming out for Chainsaw Man is going to blow a lot of waters hopefully. So yes, I had to pick up a Makima print as well. And last but not least from the same shop, I did pick up this wonderful Code Geass print of Lelouch and C2. Like I said before, I was really into mecha animes and this is definitely one of the iconic series uh, in the early 2000s that I watched. I remember just really enjoying this series and yeah, it felt a little nostalgic because I don't really see a lot of Code Geass merch as well, but always a big fan. So at Anime Expo, they also had um, a Chainsaw Man panel that didn't really give any updates, but they did hang out these really cool posters so I just picked one for the funsies um I got two posters for some reason of oh baby which was another big highlight um during the expo as well so yeah might as well and then freebie of blue lock which is another anime series that's coming out um, in the fall season. So fall season of 2022 seems to be very stack um, and I'm very excited to be able to watch a lot of good animes. Next are some prints from one of my favorite shows. I don't think I ever talked about the show at all in my channel because I don't really buy merch from them but when I saw these prints I knew I had to get them so I'm super thankful that my friend actually got these for me as a gift. So of course we have this adorable print of Yurik Camp. We have Nadeshko and also um, Rin. So this is just this is just so cute. I don't have her business card, but I'll leave her name on the corner of the screen as well as in the description. When I saw this print though, I did not see a lot of Yura Camp merch at all at Anime Expo until I discovered her little small booth of like Yura Camp prints. And so yeah, super happy to have this. We have the curry cup noodles. We have like all the other food. So yeah, this is so adorable. But I also did pick up this other print from um, her, sh uh, her store, so Yes, this is a print of Rin. She just looks so pretty in her school uniform, as well as this little cute text message of Nadeshko and Rin. I don't know Japanese too well, but my friend did loosely translate this, and I think it's like Nadeshko is like complimenting Rin of how cute she is, and she is just like responding to that compliment. But yeah, this is so adorable. So yeah, I this is definitely one of my favorite artists. I cannot wait to get more merch from her to expand my Eurocamp collection. And last but not least, my last print that I got is this other freebie one um, to celebrate Naruto 20th anniversary. We had to do like a weird scavenger hunt of some sort. Uh, we had to walk around the expo to get this print, but this is like a very high quality, like thick poster print. Like it is very nice. So yeah, we answered a few questions from Naruto, very easy questions if you have watched the series or just even know a little bit about the series. So yeah, it was really cool to kind of get this after kind of walking around the expo for a little bit. So yeah, so that's all the prints that I got from the convention. And now I guess I, I have a few pins, but as well as like freebies that I got. So I'll show you guys real quick. So this was like the free grab bag that everyone gets when they enter the convention. So I did pick up the Attack on Titan and I forgot what's this, Eden Zero bag. There was also like a quintessential quintuplet bag with, I don't remember the back of the that bag, but you have like two options for the different bags. And at the 
country roll store they gave out different tote bags each day so one day was dr stones the other day had um spy family and then there was also a my hero bag which i gave it to my friend because she likes my hero and then there was a one piece bag but i didn't get that the first day i kept all my other merch from anime expo in this bag because i kind of wanted to leave my spy family in mint condition but let me just show you guys other stuff that i bought um at the convention before i show you all the freebies the first shop i bought was from this place called minty bites so this is her little um business card and i bought two pins from her i bought this really cute yato pin which is so so pretty he looks amazing his shrine pin as well as a really adorable what's a koi pin another pin that i literally was so ecstatic when i got these pins and because one they were ax exclusive and two they were literally sold out every single day like the um artists i put like limited stock each day so you could there was only a certain amount each day and then there's always a line from her shop so it was really hard to get but i got it from this shop called Priz Pin. all of her pins are just so detailed and amazing and very high quality so that is that and what i got was these link click pin okay maybe i'm holding it the different way but this is it so we have the two main leads of link click doing the dance pose for the opening of season one. Oh my god these are so amazing okay these pins itself were the actual display pins that's how bad i wanted to get them because they kept getting sold out every day I could never line up early enough, so I couldn't get into the artist alley um, early to get the pins. And so um, on the very last day, she was selling display pins at near the end of the convention time. So I was like lining up just to get this and I got it. And it was the last set. And these were anime exclusive, like anime expo exclusive pins. But this is the back of the pin as well. Oh my god, I'm just so happy to have this. They look so amazing and I can't wait for season two. Um, yeah, so Link Click is a supernatural series. It's actually a donghua. So it is like Chinese-based language. It's a mystery type time loop, time travel show. So honestly, the music goes hard in the series and every episode I felt like I was on a cliffhanger. So very interesting series and I'm so happy to have that pins and be able to get them. And then the last pin I actually bought was from a shop called Kiwi Burr. So I've probably mentioned her shop a few times, or at least if you follow my Instagram channel, you'll know that I do collect her pins because I'm in her monthly group. So I did pick up the Tondrial pin that I am missing from her Demon Slayer series. So this is the color Tondrial. So I have the manga version of Tondrial, but not the color version and then i have a few more manga panels so these are like the manga variants of inosuke and also nezuko so i do have the color versions of these two characters but not the manga version so yes really happy she had a deal for like five three pins for like x amount of dollars which was super cool and then next we have of course is my badge from anime expo for attending all four days as well as this adorable um freebie pin of Otakoi so I got this for free as well as this really adorable lanyard of Otakoi so I was decked out for Otakoi merch <laughs> and I also got this Otakoi pin for stopping by the photo booth at AX um I got a few lanyards uh I got this really really cool fake grand order lanyard which is super nice i think this one's actually my own lanyard i got a few years ago so it's a anime expo merch uh we got some more different pins and buttons just um stop by and just grab whatever i wanted uh we got um clear rent a girlfriend freebies hand sanitizer it was quite a lot of stuff oh and then this is 
Mommy from Rent a Girlfriend as well. So I showed you Cheeseru and Mommy. Oh, I got some tickets as well. So I watched the teasing Master Tadaki Son movie at Anime Expo, which is like the very first US premiere. And it was so good. Um, makes me sad that this is probably the conclusion of the series in anime form. So I'm super sad, but I'm so glad to watch this. The, I think, director of teasing Master Tagaki Son movie actually came and he spoke for a little bit about like how he created the movie and some really cool unique aspects that happened in the movie, which was really nice because he was a su surprise guest and I didn't even realize that he was going to come at all. So yeah, I'm very happy to watch this movie. I even teared up a little bit. So yeah, very, very happy to watch it. I think there's actually a US premiere in theaters. So if you're interested in watching the series, um, you should definitely check it out. Some more freebies that I got. Genshin postcards. Genshin gave like a lot of freebies. Um, and they were promoting. I got some cool twisted. Wonderland Spy Family Prince. This is just everything that I got, so it's probably not as interesting to you guys, but I just collected a whole bunch of different postcards and merch for fun. So it's gonna speed round this little session. Um, some manga samplers from Kodansha. I think MiHoYo is also having a new game that's coming out, so they gave out these little cute pin banners. Which was really adorable. I don't even play the game. I don't <laughs> I don't even play that many games, but I was like, you know what? I'll just get those as well. Some more cards. I just grabbed two of everything. I don't know why. Oh, I'm super excited for Relea. Um why Relea ended up at the Duke's mansion. Cause we're getting a manhwa adaption of this series, but it's confirmed. So our very first romantic like Isekai manhwa adaption. Oh my god, it is super exciting. Also, I think Who Made Me a Princess is also getting anime adaption. And last but not least, we just have a few more like random books that they passed out at Anime Expo. So we have like a fake grand or a player's guide. I just bought it, I got it because it looked cool. Um, some posters, a uh, Demon Slayer calendar, and then the guidebook for the Anime Expo as well. So yeah, that is, oh. Got some more buttons. Kiga Hero button from Yen Press. And oh, last but not least, I think this is a bleach lanyard. So yeah, that is everything that I wanted to show you guys. That's all the merch and freebies I got from Anime Expo. But that kind of concludes the entire haul as well. So I hope you guys enjoy my little unboxing as well as just me sharing everything that I got uh, the past few months. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the setup that I have. Honestly, this was a little bit difficult because I tend to just like showing an overhead view of everything that I got and this one took a lot more effort but I just wanted to switch up the setting of my haul. Hope you guys enjoyed this haul and I'll see you guys in my next one. Take care! Bye!